Excuse me. Uh, we have Jacoby Hines, Devin Gilpin, Tim Keithley, Tim Keithley Kyle Alt, Jacoby. Knock her up. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, seriously, she needs a kid. Look, the video you're about to watch is pretty bad. So, if you cussed me over last week, don't watch this one. It's parental advisory. I mean, I'm telling you, it's bad. So don't watch it. I love y'all. Kids, you rock. Matt Morrell here with the Dirt Racing Connection. I'm now joined by the driver number 32, Schaefer Oil, Jay Dickens Engines, Rocket Chassis, the ultimate role model, Chad Stapleton. How are we doing tonight, Chad? I'm doing pretty good. I'm drinking a cold Pepsi. Never mind the crack. And the Jack. Drink Pepsi. Well, that's good. I'm glad you turned over a new leaf after our last interview. Uh, quite a bit of outrage out there on the internet uh, following your words of wisdom, as they were called. Do uh, you have anything uh, to say about that? Well, I live in Edinburgh, Indiana. We have a lot of crackheads there. Uh, so I'm trying to be a role model of them guys and give a shout out to all the crackheads sponsor me and they give me all their money. And uh, So if it wasn't for the crackheads, we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't be able to... Uh, do this anymore but I got my notes here though so I'm good as long as we keep on track we're good and uh, shout out to all the crackheads out there <clears throat> so it's a it's an awesome start to the season for you uh, if this is any indication of how the season's gonna go this year I mean two right out the start first couple weeks got two feature wins now one here at Brownstown this week how's it feel feels pretty darn good you know um, Brownstown Speedway you guys caught me when I was going to get in the shower so I'm not going to change who I am, you know what I mean? If I'm getting in the shower, I'm getting in. So we're going to go ahead with this interview. But Tim Keithley and Brown South Speedway had a great racing service tonight. It was great. Uh, I hate black, slick, bull crap, but gosh darn it, it's a good track, and we won on it. But, uh, and I mean, it is what it is. got to go back to my notes here. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's a good track, man. Uh, Tim done a great job. I had to track it, it was a little heavy at the beginning and got slick at the end and k rob came in and uh we booted his ass out i must say that was an incredible pass there out of turn two uh we were a little concerned for you there for a while because we thought you were gonna clip that tire you got awful close but you pushed him got him went on by him it was nice and smooth and it was pretty we got time out drink diet pepsi but anyways, yeah, we did clip the tire. If that Tim Keithley would have had a tire pushed in a little more, we wouldn't have clipped it. But, I mean, we clipped it. Uh, you know, what do you say about that Tim Keithley guy? I mean, a lot of people give that guy shit on the Internet. Same thing with DRC. But we are role models. I don't care what they say. We are role models. Dirt man, I guarantee you one thing. We're role models. The ultimate role model, Chad Stapleton, winning here at Brownstown tonight. Uh, let's go back last night, Muller Raceway. You were running pretty good. Uh, had a little trouble there at the end. Uh, tell us what happened a little bit to the car. What really, I mean, the stunt woman lost her lead. Maybe she was smoking crack. <laughs> could maybe. be a possibility. I mean. Could be a possibility. Maybe, I mean, I don't I'm not I don't want to sure. start rumors. But, but no, that that girl's a good little. I mean, driver. this is a family I mean, show. Well, I'm sorry about the family, but uh, I have 16 kids at home and child support on 14 of them. So you guys got me about half cocked doing this interview, but it'll be all right. We'll go on with it. Uh, but you know, it, it was a good night. Uh, Jameson had his tires juiced up pretty good. Uh, I'm teasing you, J Mac. I mean, Jason was rolling. Uh, don't know if we had anything for him. He was pretty damn fast last night and. You know, with Daryl Lanigan being a crew chief, maybe Lanigan ought to be a crew chief and let Jason drive. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, could be a possibility. I know there's a lot of people there uh, Friday night wanting to see that thing go green and see you still in there, see what would have happened. I know that for sure. You know, I don't know. I'm going to get serious for a minute. I don't know if I had anything for Jason. Jason was pretty darn good. I mean, he, he was great, actually. And, uh, I love the hell of J Mac, Jason, Dr. J. I mean, he's Jason. Jason. Jason's a hell of a driver. The juice is loose. I mean, the juice is loose. 
J-Mac. Sorry, brother, but I still love you. He is a good driver. He's, he's, he's an awesome guy. I mean, not a lot of people get to see that about him because, uh, you know, he's kind of shy, kind of quiet. Well, yeah. it, it, it's an unfortunate, and Jason is a quiet guy, but Jason Jameson, for the record, is one hell of a driver. But I think he had OJ on there tonight, or last night. I think he had orange juice. It wasn't apple juice. It was orange juice. All right, I guess that's a secret to success. Orange juice on the tires. Get her going. I gotta get to change my notes. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Another drink, of Pepsi. Go ahead. We got all the time you need. Remember, Alan Bradley, I love you, baby. Remember, this is a Motor show. State All Star Performance, girl. Who's your tires? VP Racing Products. Who else, bub? Who else we got? Sweet. Sweet racks. I love sweet racks. I mean, nothing better than a sweet pair of racks. <laughs> Carrie from Franklin. Carrie from Franklin. Carrie, you're my girl. You missing me, ain't you, girl? Bub McCool, the fool, my shock genius. Love, love you too, Tempo. Let's go on with the interview. <laughs> I'll leave it over to keep going with this. Um, so where are we headed next week? Do uh, we know? Is it, is it for set yet? I think I'm ready to hit the NASCAR circuit. I mean, <laughs> We're going NASCAR next week. Taking it down to Texas. I think I'm going to go to Texas. And uh, a lot of Mexicans down there. I'm going to get some Mexicans to change my tires. We'll be good. It's cheap. We're going to get them on roofs? We're going to get them on roofs, too. My, it's a lot cheaper. My brother-in-law, Ben Baker, scroll in on Ben, if you will. Get him on DRC. How we doing, Ben? All right. How about you? What did you think of the race today? Uh, my brother-in-law was pretty good. Yeah? I, I was really proud of him. Best I've ever seen him at Brownstown. Do you think you could drive better in Chad? Oh, well, yeah. I'd be stupid to say I couldn't. All right. Keep your eye on this man. He might be the next Chad Stapleton. He'll never be the next Chad Stapleton. He might be the next Willie Salee, but... <laughs> so what else? Hey, could you guys shut your phones okay. off? We're doing an interview. You just do that, right? No. Okay. All right, well, Chad, anybody else you want to thank before we say goodbye? Uh, I do have to thank CJ Rayburn's crate engines, Rayburn chassis. No, CJ's a great guy. Uh, Rocket Chassis, Jay Dickens, all-star performance. Um, there you go. We got a trophy. <laughs> That's a little bit of trophy, Keith Lee. Come on, brother. Moeller's bigger than that. Let me get it turned around. Uh, VP, on a serious note, all the guys that help us out, man. Schaefer Wool, Alan Bradley is awesome. Will Wood. Will Wood. Just ask Kyle, he'll tell you. Uh, Will Wood, uh, Spike, he's a good dude. He's cute too. I mean, Spike's pretty handsome. Steve What's Mark out there, ladies? Uh, Steve and Mark, you know, hell, love the rocket chassis. Um, Jay Dickerson, as my buddy Kevin Jeffries would say. I mean, it, that that motor is a little bitty baby, but it's still a good little piece. K and L Machining, Rogers, Rogers Bar, Bar, Jones Core, oh. Bowman Dodge. We guys went out there and looked at the car, see who else we forget. <laughs> uh, um, you want to drink Pepsi? Maybe. Okay. Thank you.